Hi, I'm Ree from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another huge grocery haul to share with you that has just been delivered. So I'm going to go through everything I have bought, uh, to share with you which deals I've managed to pick up and talk about some meal planning that I've got organised for this week. If you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday at 7pm. I do loads of grocery hauls as well as shop with me in hauls, speed cleaning videos and we've also got a whole huge home renovation series where we're doing a complete start to finish renovation. There's weekly updates on that too so I would love to have you as a subscriber. Now let's take a look at what I have been buying. Let's start with fruit today. We have got loads of bananas. Now these are looking kind of a bit greeny, so they're probably not fruiting today. I've talked about this before. I don't tell my children, but I really don't like bananas. In fact, I make a point of not telling my children about what I don't like, because as soon as I say I don't like something, then they're like, oh, I don't like that. So I keep that information to myself, but quite frankly, I don't like the smell, I don't like the texture, I don't like anything, but my children love them, and you know, they're good for them, so I buy a lot of bananas. Now, I've actually bought, and I didn't do this on purpose, two different types of raspberries. So we've got this big pack of raspberries and then this small pack of raspberries. It's not a problem, obviously these will have to be eaten before these, it's always good to check the dates on things, but I just didn't mean to do it. So it's not the end of the world, they will get eaten. I literally just rinse them, pop them in a bowl and pop them on the table after my children have had dinner or perhaps with breakfast and they're just gone in mere seconds. I've got some pink lady apples, which I can't seem to buy these loose. I don't know why they have to come in this packaging. They could just come loose, couldn't they? They don't, they come in this packet. But they are the lovely sweet apples that my children really love and enjoy. We've got some lovely sweet easy peeler oranges that even Zara, my three-year-old, can peel by herself. So that is a winner. Who wants to have to work too hard for their oranges? Not me. We've got pears. I don't always buy pears. I used to feed the children pears loads and loads when we did baby led weaning when they were little. Um, I'm not a massive fan of pears. I would eat a pear if I had to. I think I'd rather eat a pink lady and to me they're sort of like a similar type fruit aren't they? Um, I don't know. Pears. What are your thoughts on pears? I'm gonna, I've, I've brought them for the children just as a variety for, to add some variety to their fruit. But personally, I think I'd stick with an apple. Say, um, apples and pears, I would chop up to eat normally, um, certainly for myself. I chop them up for the children, put them on the table. I do sometimes just give them like a piece of fruit to eat, but generally it's chopped up in a bowl. And then we've got this massive, massive punnet of strawberries. Now, this was one of the substitutions. They didn't have the smaller punnet, they had to send me the larger one. But the good thing is, when they do a substitution, you will only ever pay what you thought you were going to pay in the first place if that makes sense so if i only paid for a smaller one even if they're sending me a bigger one then they can't charge me more than what i was intending to pay in the first place so that's kind of cool we got like a, a strawberry upgrade next we've got some jacket potatoes now in some of the previous grocery hauls i've been disappointed with the size of the jacket potatoes whereas these you know are a good a good size i feel i've got six of those to do for dinner one night my family just love jackie potatoes cheese and beans and they'll all be really happy with that as a meal so that is one of our meals for this week uh, i often also put jackie potatoes with chili so um i'll do one or the other of those this week next we've got peppers which i'm intending to put in either fajitas or enchiladas i haven't decided yet basically the fajitas they assemble themselves and the enchiladas they kind of get baked they get wrapped up and then baked in the oven a little bit that's essentially the only massive difference isn't it but either um fajitas or enchiladas and i will put in with that some of the onions i've got red onions and normal onions today onions go in lots of things though don't they so but the onions will go in with the fajitas i will also stick some of the baby corn and mange too in with the fajitas too just to kind of make it veggie tastic um, we have got cucumber, which I shall probably cu cut up into cucumber sticks and just feed them to the children or stick on the side of my plate. It's like a salad -y thing. I like smart tomatoes on the side of my plate. None of the rest of my family are fussed on tomatoes, so I will eat one or two on the side of my plate and I will chop the rest up to put into something like jelly or the... Um, the spaghetti bolognese or whatever. I have also got tins of chopped tomatoes already in the cupboard, but if these are kind of on the way out and haven't been eaten yet, I will chop them up fresh to use them up. 
So I've got these two packs and I've already touched on this. One of them I will perhaps put with like a Sunday dinner slash chicken dinner slash roast dinner slash whatever you want to call it. Um, or sometimes I do just pop these things into chili because I actually really like extra veggies in my chili. The carrot battens are just such a quick and simple snack for the children. They will eat those if they're waiting for their dinner. I take them, when I pick them up from school sometimes, I take them just like a little bag or pot of carrot battens and they love them. They just, it's a really super healthy snack that they will all enjoy, which is fab. And then we've got leafy salad. Now that's mostly just for me if I'm honest because none of the rest of my family are first on leafy salad, but I like a bit of that on the side of my plate. Over to meat. We've got some 5% fat steak mints. I always buy the lowest percent fat they can get. And to be honest, even once I've kind of slung it around a wok for a bit, I still drain off any excess fat before I finish cooking it. So um, this will be for either chili or spaghetti bolognese, depending on which night I'm fancying what. And then we've got three packs of diced chicken breast. I, I know I could buy the whole chicken. I used to do this, but my family only really are fussed on kind of the breast meat and then the rest of it sort of goes to waste all the wings and legs and i don't know all the other little bits of chicken so it is actually worth it works out a lot more cost effective to buy the diced chicken so i buy it like this because it's actually cheaper than buying it in chicken breasts and i don't even have to cut it up win-win so i've got three packs of that one of them will be four fajitas or enchiladas depending on which mood i'm in um one of them i think i'm going to do a curry and the other one i think i'm going to do sweet and sour so that's kind of my plan for meals. So we've got jack of potatoes one night, a curry, um, a fajitas, and a sweet and sour, and then either a spag roll or a chili. Over here we have some milk. I always buy the blue top milk for the extra fat for the children. Um, I don't know, it's supposed to be good for them, isn't it, to have the full fat milk for all the calories and calcium and all those such things. And then these are mostly sort of lunchy things. The children really like these mini pork sausage rolls. So most of our lunches for the children tend to be kind of like buffet plowmancy lunch things. So I will put just various bits and pieces on the table for them to eat. So I'll put out a few pork sausages, I'll put out some cheese, I'll put out some ham, I'll put out some cocktail sausages, or just cocktails, as my children like, they're like, I love cocktails, and then they mean for these. Um, and then yogurts are kind of more of a desserty thing. Love a pepper pig yogurt, well they do. I wouldn't eat from much for if you paid me, but my children love it. So with these bits that I would put out, um, they also ha might have some raisins lunchtime, but also these are little containers. I know we've got like, school concerts I've got to take Zara to to sit through so taking some like little raisins for her to eat to snack on might keep her happy for five minutes to sit still in the school concert but generally like I was saying I put loads of this stuff out on the table either with wraps um, which I will also use for the fajitas or enchiladas like I said I'm not sure which one I'm doing yet I haven't decided I've just got meal options I've got the ingredients to make any of those bits um, I have actually got three packs of wraps the date on them isn't too bad, 10th, or they'll be long gone by then, long gone. But yeah, it's either those, I will put wraps out, or I will chop up this bread. And as this, it lasts a couple of days, but not as long as the wraps. So tomorrow's lunch will be chopped up bread. That will go on the table with all these bits and some carrot sticks and fruit and things. But that's a sort of a nice balanced lunch. They feel it's like kind of nice and picnicky, and they all really enjoy it. I actually find they eat more if I put it out like that than if I put stuff on their plate and then they get really stressed out about what they have to eat on the plate. If they've actually put it on their own plate, I find my children a little more likely to eat it. Let me know if yours are the same. And then we've got bread, which um, we sometimes use for just like beans on toast or toast. It's mostly just toast on the weekends, like cheese on toast, uh, like a, a weekend breakfast or um, peanut butter on toast, jam on toast, whatever it might be. Um, but to be honest, I don't use much bread for sandwiches. I tend to use these bits of sandwiches. So what I often do is just put that straight in the freezer because otherwise I find it just goes off because we don't use it. So if we put it straight in the freezer then it's easy to toast it from frozen. It's sort of freshly frozen and stays a bit nicer. So I might bung that straight in. Then over here I've got some plain mini naans and these have got a date of the 6th of March. That's not too bad. Um, these I will do, so just put them in the oven, you sprinkle a bit of water on them. I'm not 
not sure why you're supposed to do that, but you are you're supposed to sprinkle a bit of water on them and then put them on a baking tray for a few minutes. Um, and then those go nicely on the side of curry and they're all very well received. And then we have got some pancakes. These are just, the little ones do like these as like a, a breakfast kind of treat along with their other breakfasty bits with a bit of fruit and perhaps a bit of syrup if they're really lucky. So they're always on a deal if you buy two packs. This always seems to be on a deal. Over here, I've also got a pack of poppadons to go with the naan breads and the curry, which the curry I tend to do with rice and frozen chips. Then to go on the side of the enchiladas, I've got these lightly salted tortilla chips. I do tend to just put some grated cheese. Speaking of which, I forgot to show you this. A block of cheese for grating. You do know I have like a cheese grater box, which I do um, tend to grate my own cheese with. Sometimes I do buy just bags of grated cheese if I know I'm gonna be in a massive rush, but um, I have also got my cheese grater box and it's a bit cheaper to buy it like that. But the cheese, is, <laughs> which I'd forgotten to show you, I tend to put on top of some of these and bung those on a baking tray in the oven and they go nicely on the side of enchiladas as a nice little treat. We've also got the salsa and that is to go with the enchiladas as well. We've got mango chutney and that's to go with the curry. And then we have got um, some cranberry sauce and that is to go with my roast dinner, which I'll be doing mostly at frozen stuff to be honest. I've got frozen chicken breast for the roast dinner. Um, I haven't bought any this time, but I did buy them a few weeks back, the frozen chicken breasts, and they were very nice actually. They worked very nice. I cooked them from frozen. They worked very nicely for our roast dinner because for roast dinner, again, I don't do a whole chicken. I just give everyone chicken breast because that's the bit that everybody enjoys. And then over here, the prawn crackers, I'm darting back and forth a bit, sorry, but hey ho. The prawn crackers are to go on the side of the sweet and sour. And the reason I bought two bags is because last time we had sweet and sour, I went to the cupboard to get the prawn crackers that I had bought and put there. And I found my husband had just eaten them like a big bag of crisps. So I bought two in case he does that again. And then we have got some cereal because nobody told me we were out of cereal. Um, as in we've got, uh, we've got still got Weetabix, but we'd run out of, um, totally out of this. I think we're down to our last handful of Cheerios and nobody had mentioned it. When my family are supposed to alert me when they open the backup box, but system doesn't always work. Never mind, enough about that. And then we've got Honey Nut Corn Flakes. I think they're just as nice as the branded ones, so I tend to buy those. And then over here, I have got the double strength orange squash, which I use, I put a little bit of that in the bottom of our fridge jug, and then that just lives in the fridge, and that comes out onto the table when we have meals, so that everyone can have squash. The children drink water if they're not at the table, and squash at the table, and that way it's all lovely and nice and cold, and we can sort of dish it out to everyone. It's just a really easy way to serve it. And then over here, we have got luxury soft toilet paper. Now, a few weeks ago, I sent this as a substitution, and I was a bit nervous, because I, normally, if I buy unbranded toilet paper, my family whinge a lot. But they didn't whinge. They actually quite liked it. They said it, well, they just didn't comment on it. And then when I asked, everyone said it was fine. So, winner. It's actually a lot cheaper than the other stuff, so I can keep buying that. On to my frozen section, which is quite small this week. I've just got three pizzas, because they are three for four pounds, and they're really good for a swimming night or something where I just get back, and there's no time to cook because they want to eat right now this second. So I can just bung those in the oven, and then while I'm throwing the sort of swimming kit into the wash, they're cooking, pretty easy, easy peasy. We've got two bags of chips because we actually went into my backup bag. So we are down to zero chips in the house. So my stock of chips was zero, hence why we have the two bags. And then to go with my roast dinner, because I've already got the, uh, I've already got frozen um, broccoli and peas, and I've already got the chicken, the frozen chicken breasts, and I've already got the gravy granules. So I just needed, and in fact, I've already got the Yorkshires, just needed the parsnips and some super easy roasties. So they are easy too. And then I've got some treat breakfast for the children, which they have after they've had cereal and fruit on the weekends, which is these can of chocolate, and you just bung them in the oven and they come out sort of really yummy. Again, unpopular opinion. I'm not fast on like croissant pastry stuff. Give me chocolate all day long, but you know, anyway, but my children like them, so I still buy them. On to my don't judge me section, and we're starting with Dairy Box. Now, I literally only discovered these chocolates a few years ago. A friend of mine bought them for me after I had one of my babies, and they're amazing because 
they're really really creamy and I can literally shove my hand in the box with my eyes closed and like them all equally and that is something rare normally I have I look, love a couple of them and they're like meh for the others but I love all of those they're amazing now a word about ripples first of all I've been getting a bit upset by my ripples we all know I love a ripple I'm getting a bit upset because it's been arriving kind of munched so I'd open them and they just disintegrate all over the place but the small galaxy bars and the ripples were not available to purchase via Tesco online this week which you know was a problem so I was forced forced I tell you to buy these massive massive bars so that's what I've got I've got massive massive bars of chocolate um sorry not sorry that's all I can say I love it it's my thing yeah and then we've got this lovely Hey Daggy birthday cake. Now that is because it's my husband's birthday in a couple of days and everyone in our family, it's a bit of a tradition, gets a kiddie cake chosen by the children. And they chose Hey Daddy for his birthday cake. I mean, it was a toss up. It was almost My Little Pony. It was almost a lot of things, but Hey Daggy won out. So that's for his birthday. Then I've got a pack of these biscuits. These are a real bargain. I think they're only a pound for this pack. So they work out cheaper than buying separate packs. And if you open the outer wrapper, they are individually kind of strip wrapped. So it's four packs of biscuits. They work out as 25 pence each. And that'll work as kind of like a desserty treat for my children after their meals. Uh, we've got mini rolls, which were cheaper to buy in smaller packs than bigger packs, because the smaller packs were on offer, the bigger packs were not. And my family don't think it's a real mini roll unless it's got jam in it. Um, I've got to say, love my galaxy. I could take or leave a mini roll. I know, possibly an unpopular opinion again. And equally, these I did not order. I ordered mini Battenbergs because they were on offer. And they sent me these instead because clearly they were so popular that, um, you know, they were all sold out. Now, I don't know if I like these. They look nice. They look like I should like them. I seem to remember I don't like them, but maybe I do. I don't know. Are angel slices nice? Let me know in the comments. Will I enjoy those? Now, the loyal viewers among you will notice there are a few items I normally buy that I didn't buy. One of which especially I'm a bit upset about because I meant to buy and I forgot. So, let me know in the comments if you know what it is that I've forgotten to buy. And all of that came to 117.80. Thank you so much for watching. If you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. If you want to watch my latest video, it's just across here. And for more shop with me and haul videos, they're just down here. I'll see you guys very soon.